The interviewing process is a crucial part of patient care. It generates pieces of health information and demands effective communication and relation skills. It requires not only knowledge of the data needed, but also the ability to elicit accurate information and the interpersonal skills that allow you to respond to the patient's feelings and concerns. The interview consists of four phases. First, we have the pre-interview phase. Interviewing patients requires planning. There are several preliminary steps that are crucial to success. First is taking time for self-reflection. Self-reflection is a continual part of professional development and clinical work. It brings a deepening personal awareness to our work with patients, which is one of the most rewarding aspects of patient care. After that, it is important to review medical and nursing records. This helps gather information and plan what areas you need to explore with the patient. Next, we need to set goals for the interview. A nurse must balance these provider-centered goals with patient-centered goals. By taking a few minutes to think through the goals ahead of time, the interview will be smoother. Review your clinical behavior and appearance. Because personal appearance affects the relationship. Patients finds cleanliness, neatness, conservative dress, and a name tag reassuring. So remember to fix yourselves before meeting the patient. Make the interview setting as private and comfortable as possible. Make sure you adjust the environment because a proper environment improves communication. After you've done all of these steps, you are now ready to meet the patient. Phase 2 is Introduction. This is where we greet the patient and establish report. Hello, Poma. I am Erica and I will be your nurse for today. How do you want me to call you, Poma? Princess Wendy. Okay. For me to be able to help you today, I will be asking questions about your health, but rest assured that all information will be kept confidential. Once report has been established, the nurse is ready to pursue the patient's reason for seeking healthcare. Begin with open-ended questions that allow full freedom of response such as What made you decide to come see us today? Are there specific concerns that prompted you to schedule this appointment? I've been experiencing muscle pain. Next up is the working phase. This is where we gather more information about the patient's concern. This is also where the seven attributes of a symptom, or as we know as old card, comes in. So, may muscle pain po kayo? Okay lang po ba malaman kailan po or paano po nagsimula yung sakit? Nagsimula po siya nung katapos po namin mag-volleyball three days ago. Saan po ba ang sakit? Dito po sa arms tsaka legs. Okay po. Continuous po ba ang sakit or nawawala naman po? Continuous po siya. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, gaano po kasakit? Nasa 6 po siguro. Meron pa bang ibang masakit bukod sa muscle pain mo? Wala naman po. Is there anything that makes it better or worse? Kapag nakapahinga po ako, medyo nababawasan po ang sakit. Okay, so meron ka na bang ginawang treatments or ininom na gamot para mawala ito? Na-try ko na po lagyan ng cold compress, medyo na-relieve naman po, pero bumalik pa rin po ang sakit. While obtaining information, develop and test hypothesis about the patient's problem. Identifying the attributes and details of the patient's symptom is fundamental to recognizing patterns of problems and generating nursing diagnosis. Next is to negotiate a plan. This is where you tell the patient further plans such as follow-up assessments, laboratory tests, or consultations. We have reached the final phase, which is termination. This is the time to summarize all the important points and discuss plan of care. So to summarize the points, you've been experiencing continuous muscle pain for 3 days, now located at your left arm and right leg. You rated the pain as 6 out of 10 and resting and cold compress help in relieving the pain. Yes, Pop. 
So you will be assisted for further assessment of your muscles and make sure to have a follow-up appointment in a week. Do you have any questions about this? None. Okay, so that sums up our interview. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you so much, Po. As a nurse and part of the medical practitioner, it is part of our job to obtain the client's personal information related to their family background. It is important to one's treatment because it can help us in dealing with the patient and to build a health care relationship with them. By knowing this information, we can deal with the client's illness more accurately and the patient will be cooperative to its treatment.